Welcome back to another episode. Today we're out on the water here in Gull Lake in uh, southern Michigan and we're doing a little bit of fishing. The bite's tough, um, a lot of guys out on the water. These fish are getting some pressure, but one bait that's been uh, working a little bit for us today is the blade bait. So yeah, I've been throwing this blade bait around basically for the last month exclusively here since ice has gone off. It's a fantastic bait um, for any of you northern anglers who get really cold winters and then it's a great bait to pick up right when that ice comes off. It's great just because it's a subtle presentation that these fish can uh, key in on and you can keep it right in the strike zone there at the bottom like foot or two of the lake and just pop it real slowly and um, as you pop it it just gives off vibrations. It vibrates up and then you yo-yo it back down and you're just basically just popping it all along the bottom and just fishing it real slow and uh, it's more of a reaction strike than anything I think just that little blade just vibrating up right in the fish's face and uh, yeah it gets bit better than anything else I've come across for sure. This is a great bait to locate these fish also because you can uh, work it pretty fast compared to other baits this time of year you don't have to just crawl a Ned rig on the bottom uh, which is what a lot of guys do this time of year. This is definitely a bait you can get out and cover some water with. Um, and in my opinion, it's a lot more fun, a lot better than just kind of using the fairy wand all day with a Ned rig. So when I'm throwing blade bait, I like to throw it on anywhere from like a seven foot to a seven three, like medium, maybe medium heavy. I think this is, this is a seven foot medium heavy, but um, it's got a fast action tip. So uh, it's about perfect. I throw it on 14 pound sniper sunline. Uh, that's just what I roll in clear water. You can probably get away with 10 or 12, but I, I just like to have a little bit thicker line because lots of times you're bumping it along the bottom and rocks or shell beds or occasionally some logs or something. So if you do get snagged, you have a better chance of popping it out. So um, the areas I'm targeting when I'm throwing this blade bait is anywhere from honestly 20 to like 45 feet this time of year. When these bass get cold, they go out deep here in Michigan. And so that's what we've been targeting, any flats or points or humps, really anything that these fish are just gonna hold to any piece of structure you can get a blade bait down in throw this thing as close to it as possible it does tend to pop out of like snags and stuff pretty well so that's a good benefit of it so the times i like to throw blade baits are uh, basically all of march here in michigan when the water temps are anywhere from like high 30s to mid uh, 40s right now the water temp here on this lake is 40 between 42 and 43 and it's working great um, it's worked great on a bunch of different lakes here in the last month like i said um, my favorite colors to throw are ayu and just a gold and then once in a while i'll pick up a silver but um, i like to have a little bit of gold flash uh, just somewhere in the blade bait uh, that's what I'm throwing today. That's an AYU color and then the red I just added with a sharpie. To, I add that red just for the fish to have something to key in on and uh, I think it helps them kind of hit it there rather than just swiping at the bait in general. Um, this bait right here is actually the Damiki one. It's the Damiki Vault. It's their bait. In my opinion it's one of the better blades, blade baits out on the market. Um, definitely go check them out if you're looking for a good company to try. Um, the hooks on these blade baits and most other blade baits in general are not the best at all. I definitely sharpen or think about replacing them just because the hookup ratio as you guys can tell from uh, other blade bait videos I've had are not very great. Uh, lots of times a fish will swing at it and you'll miss them two or three times before you actually hook them up. So definitely sharpen them up or switch them out and that'll definitely help increase your chance of hookup. So I typically run the half ounce uh, Damiki Vault. That's just my favorite. Um, and that way too, you can cover a lot of water. It sinks quick. You can fish those deep, like 20 to 50 foot uh, areas without having to waste too much time sitting there letting it sink. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit how I like to work it and the technique behind it. So let's get into it. All right. So you're basically gonna cast it out at a hump or point or whatever it is that you fishing or marked fish on, wait probably 10 seconds it usually takes, no more, to get to the bottom. Make sure it's on the bottom, that's very key because these fish are holding tight to structure this time of year. So then once it's down to the bottom, I just like to kind of hold my rod tip up and just honestly, that's all it is to it. You just give it probably, I lift it up a foot. It's not, it's not a quick jerk, you're just lifting it up and then you're stopping it basically right when you feel the first couple of vibrations. You're not like ripping it high or like, you're not ripping it like you might a lipless. Wait a second or two in between it, and this is all there is to it, and it gets bit. I'll roll in some clips of some of the fish I've caught. I probably caught 50 to 100 fish just in the last week exclusively on the blade bait. So, yeah, guys, honestly, it's a really simple bait to throw. It's fun. It's a lot more fun than a Ned Rig or something else slow you got to throw this time of year. So, for sure, go check it out. Try Tamiki Vaults. That's a really good blade bait. Uh, just the only thing I would, again, recommend is 
uh, sharpening or replacing the hooks because that'll get you a lot better hookup ratio and hopefully, hopefully it will help you catch a lot of fish. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe.